How will school closures affect me and how should I act now as an employer? The government has announced that private schools and nurseries will close on Friday the 20th of March until further notice. Early years education providers, sixth forms and further education colleges are, in the government's words, expected to follow suit. The measures will not affect critical workers with children. Further details are to be announced on this shortly, but the suggestion is that this will extend to police officers, supermarket delivery drivers, NHS workers and social care workers. Boris Johnson also referred to the most vulnerable pupils, including those who have a social worker and those with educational health and care plans, as continuing to stay in mainstream education. The obvious measure, uh, as we say on many uh, uh, videos, is can the employees work from home, uh, even if the school closure means that they will be looking after children. It is not normally appropriate for home working arrangements to, to be put in place in these circumstances, but this is uh, an unprecedented situation and we do need to be, uh, be pragmatic. Um, there may be particular challenges with uh, younger children, um, but we need to assess each case. This means, in our view, asking in every employee's case questions such as, do they have children? How many? How old are they? Who else lives in the household to support with childcare? Do they work? Are they a critical worker? What are their hours of work? Are they able to work from home? Are there any other sources of childcare support? On that note, the government has asked that children are not left with vulnerable relatives, particularly grandparents. More radically, could colleagues share childcare duties? Uh, these are times to get creative and it may be that uh, colleagues can club together to look after children. Answers to these questions could allow us to keep as many employees at work as possible, at least to some extent. We may need to amend working hours and potentially access times to the building, uh, and that will depend on the outcome of assessing each employee's individual needs. For the basic position, if we um, cannot allow an employee to work from home and they need to be at home, is that they will be taking time off to care for dependents. That is a statutory right which applies in circumstances where, for example, here there is a breakdown in arrangements for the care of the children. Um, the question is, do we pay more because dependent leave is entirely unpaid unless we exercise our discretion? We could encourage the use of a holiday entitlement, at least in the early days, but many businesses are already asking if they should be offering more and if they can afford to do so. Um, the risk here is that we need to consider the open-ended nature of the closure. We don't know how long this is going to last for, and any arrangements that we make or any commitments that we make to employees uh, really should not be open-ended. It's also time to start considering the other support which may be available for employees and which may be announced in due course. Uh, as we say in other videos, there are mortgage holidays that have been announced. For those in private rented accommodation, there will be uh, prevention of eviction um, for a certain period of time and measures may be extended to include council tax breaks, uh, utility bills being uh, covered and um, other measures are on the way according to the government. If this is the case it will allow some financial comfort for those who would uh, otherwise be taking unpaid leave and that may affect your decision as an employer as to how much you are uh, willing and able to support your employees.